Hello and welcome to Mathematics. I am Ms. Whitehead Tambani and today we are going to learn ways to be a problem solver and communicating our ideas about guessing two-dimensional shapes. Before we get started, let's get our math brains warmed up by looking at these four pictures. Which one does not belong? You might have thought number two doesn't belong because it has circles in it and all the other pictures have shapes with sides. You might have thought number three didn't belong because it is a triangle and it has three sides and if you look at the other three pictures, they all have four sides. There are so many possible answers we could come up with. Our learning outcome for today is to identify and compare shapes. You can work on your communicator skills by listening so you can understand. Before we get started, I want you to get some paper, one crayon, and one counter, and then come back to me. I'll count to 100 by 10s while you get your materials. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 1, 2, 3, come back to me. Just put your materials next to you while you listen to me. Today we are going to be math detectives and gather clues to figure out which shape is hiding from us. Gathering the clues will help us learn about the shapes. Draw these four shapes on your paper like this. I'll wait for you to do this. You are going to use this chart you made with the four shapes on it and your one counter. I'm going to read you some clues. As I read the clues, I want you to listen and put your counter on the shape you think I am describing. The first clue is, I am a shape that has all straight sides. What could I be? Put your counter on the shape you think I am talking about. Here is the second clue for the same shape. Listen carefully. You may decide to keep your counter where it is or you may want to move it to another shape after this clue. I am a shape that has all straight sides. I have four sides and all of my sides are the same length. What could I be? Put your counter on the shape you think I am talking about. Here is the next clue. If you turn me on my side, I still look the same. What could I be? Now that you have all the clues, you need to decide if you want to keep the counter on the shape you chose before or move it to a different shape. The answer is a square. Put your counter on the square. Nice listening to the clues. The square has four straight sides and they are all the same length. Let's try to guess another shape. Here is the first clue for the next shape. I am a shape that has all straight sides. What could I be? Put your counter on the shape you think I am talking about. Here is the second clue for the same shape. Listen carefully, you may decide to keep your counter where it is 
or you may want to move it to another shape after this next clue. I am a shape that has all straight sides. I have four sides, but two of my sides are longer than the others. What could I be? Put your counter on the shape you think I am talking about. Here is the next clue. If you turn me on my side, then I look different. What could I be? Now that you have all the clues, you need to decide if you want to keep the counter on the shape you chose before or move it to a different shape. The answer is a rectangle. Put your counter on the rectangle. Nice listening to the clues. The rectangle has four straight sides, but two of the sides are longer than the other two. Also, you can turn it on its side and it looks different. Let's try to guess another shape. Here is the first clue. I am a shape without any straight sides. What could I be? Put your counter on the shape you think I am talking about. Here is the second clue for the same shape. Listen carefully. You may decide to keep your counter where it is, or you may want to move it to another shape after this next clue. I am a shape without any straight sides. Another way to describe my shape is round and curvy. What could I be? Put your counter on the shape you think I am talking about. Here is the next clue. No matter how you turn me, I still look the same. What could I be? Now that you have all the clues, you need to decide if you want to keep the counter on the shape you chose before or move it to a different shape. The answer is a circle. Put your counter on the circle. Nice listening to the clues. The circle is a shape without any straight sides. It's round and curvy and no matter how you turn it, it looks the same. Let's try to guess another shape. Here is the first clue for the next shape. I almost have as many sides as a square but not quite. What could I be? Put your counter on the shape you think I am talking about. Here is the second clue for the same shape. Listen carefully. You may decide to keep your counter where it is or you may want to move it to another shape after this next clue. I almost have as many sides as the square, but not quite. Sometimes the roof of a house is shaped like me. What could I be? Put your counter on the shape you think I am talking about. Here is the next clue. I have three straight sides and three corners. What could I be? Now that you have all the clues, you need to decide if you want to keep the counter on the shape you chose before or move it to a different shape. The answer is a triangle. Put your counter on the triangle. Nice listening to the clues. The triangle has three straight sides and three corners. Let's try to guess another shape. Here is the first clue for the next shape. I have four corners. What could I be? Put your counter on the shape you think I am talking about. Here is the second clue for the same shape. I have four corners. You see me every day. I am the same shape as the top of some counters. What could I be? Put your counter on the shape you think I am talking about. 
Here is the next clue. If you turn me on my side, then I look different. What could I be? Now that you have all of the clues, you need to decide if you want to keep the counter on the shape you chose before or move it to a different shape. The answer is a rectangle. Put your counter on the rectangle. Nice listening to the clues. The rectangle has four straight sides, but two of the sides are longer than the other two. Also, when you turn it on its side, it looks different. Let's try to guess another shape. Here is the first clue for the next shape. You see me every day. I have the same shape as a CD or a DVD. What could I be? Here is the second clue for the same shape. I do not have any corners in my shape. What could I be? Here is the next clue. If you put me on the ground, then I could roll like a wheel. What could I be? Now that you have all the clues, you need to decide if you want to keep the counter on the shape you chose before or move it to a different shape. The answer is a circle. Put your counter on the circle. Nice listening to the clues. The circle is shaped like a DVD and has no corners. If you put it on the ground, it could roll like a wheel. Let's try to guess another shape. Here is the first clue for the next shape. If you started with a square and took away one of the sides, then you would make my shape. What could I be? Here is the second clue for the same shape. Sometimes arrow points and road signs are made in my shape. What could I be? Here is the next clue. I have three straight sides and three corners. What could I be? Now that you have all of the clues, you need to decide if you want to keep your counter on the same shape you chose before or move it to a different counter, a different shape. The answer is a triangle. Put your counter on the triangle. Nice listening to the clues. The triangle has three straight sides and three corners. Also, when you turn it on its side, it looks different. Let's try to guess another shape. Let's reflect on our learning instead. Take a moment to think about yourself as a mathematician and communicator. Did you learn something new about identifying and comparing shapes? Were you able to listen so you could understand? Mathematicians can communicate their ideas in many ways. In today's episode of Math Matters, we learned ways to be a problem solver in communicating our ideas. Be a detective in your neighborhood with your family today and find different shapes. Make sure to communicate by giving descriptive clues. I'm Ms. Whitehead Tembani. I hope you have a great day and keep on counting.